Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is June 21st, 2022. This is my sixth episode about C17 2023 CUDA, SQL, OpenGL, OpenCL, TBB. I'm very ambitious. If you follow my videos, you will learn ProGraph from 1TBB. Please double click this link. We will learn Intel TBB ProGraph. We will also learn CUDA graphs. Please double click this link. I will help you understand how to use CUDA graphs in your parallel programming. Also, we will learn data parallel C++ execution graph. So, data parallel C++ execution graph. If you watch my videos carefully and follow my instructions, then I can help you learn such state-of-the-art parallel programming technologies. We will download CUDA toolkits. Please double-click it. Windows x86-64 I have Windows 10 If you have Windows 11, then you have to select Windows 11 But my machine is Windows 10 I will select Local EXE If you double click it, you can see this base installer By clicking this link, you can download CUDA Toolkit I already downloaded this is CUDA toolkit. We will download Intel One API base toolkit. Please double click it. Get the Intel One API base toolkit. Select Windows. This is recommended. Select online or offline. I would select offline. By clicking this download button, you can download Intel One API base toolkit like this. I will post this script in the description section below this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please double click this link. I assume you have watched my previous videos listed here in sequential order. All the videos whose title starts with setup, setup, setup. These are must watch video. These are required because we change our system environment. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow my current station. In episode 3, we installed Intel One API threading building blocks standalone version. We don't need Intel One API threading building block standalone version. We don't need it because we will install full Intel One API toolkit. Right click, search, add, add or remove programs. Here, one API. Then you will find Intel One API threading building blocks. Click this, uninstall. Uninstall. Yes. If you haven't installed it, you don't need to remove. Modify. Uninstall. Remove. I will close this, 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 and this. Go to install the products. Now close it. We may need to reboot our machine. This session continues after rebooting my machine. I've just restarted my machine. File Explorer, Downloads. We will start with CUDA. Double click it. Please understand that to install CUDA toolkit, also Intel One API base toolkit, you need to have accounts on CUDA. Also, you need to have Intel account. Now click OK. 
agree and continue, express. Next. If you examine Ensight for Visual Studio 2022 Ensight monitor, these two are installed. These are not installed because I do not have respective device or software. Now click Next. Create shortcut for NVIDIA GeForce experience. We will restart now. After restarting my machine, this session continues. I've just restarted my machine. Now, right click, search, environment, edit system environment, environment variables. You can find CUDA pass V11.7 CUDA pass. These are inserted by CUDA toolkit installer. Also, pass edit. You can find CUDA pass are inserted in the system environment pass. Now, click OK. Select include. Click edit. New. Select browse. This PC, I will make it bigger. System, program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA V11.7, select include, click OK. We need this path for IntelliSense. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Now start Microsoft Compiler command line. NVCC version. If you see this message, CUDA toolkit is installed successfully. Build CUDA 11.7, now exit. If you want to, double click GPOS experience. Agree and continue. You have to log in. Not now. Skip. Drivers. You can download GPOS Scan Ready Driver. Click Express Installation. Yes. Now installation has finished. Close. Close. I will reboot my machine. After rebooting my machine, this session continues. I've just restarted my machine. Please watch very carefully. We are going to install Intel One API based toolkit. If you have Python root or Python home or Python path, on your system environment variable, you are very likely to fail. What I mean is that search environment, edit environment variables in this section or in this section. If you have Python home and some path, you will fail to install Intel One API based toolkit properly. You can disable before you install Intel One API based toolkit like this. Disable it Python home or Python root or Python path. After installing Intel One API based toolkit, you can restore. I have given you my warnings. 
we will install Intel One API Base Toolkit. Double click it. Click Yes. Extract. Continue. I accept the terms of license agreement. Continue. Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 integration. Next. I do not consent to the collection of my information. It will take some time. Please be patient. The following tools have been installed successfully. Open Get Started Guide. I would select this checkbox. Click Finish. Please take a few minutes and read this text or keep it in a safe place such as SQL. I would reboot my machine. Now I just restarted my machine. Open up File Explorer, Downloads. This is the icon. Copy, paste it in the Windows. Paste it here. I will put a download link for this icon. Now we can remove. Left click start button. If you scroll down, you can find Intel One API 2022. Click this button. Intel One API command prompt Intel 64 for Visual Studio 2022. Right click, more, open file location. This is One API command prompt for Intel 64 Visual Studio 2022. Copy, paste it here. Right click, properties, change icon. Browse, System, Windows, select one API icon, click Open, click OK. The icon changes apply like this. Select this folder, our working directory, copy. Paste it here in the starting field. Click Apply, Font, 20, Layout, 140, like this. I will make it 40. Click Apply, click OK, double click it. It's too big. Properties. Layout 30. Apply. Double click it. It now starts in this folder. DPCPP version. You should see 2022 1. Now exit. We will rename x64. Hit enter. Now Drag and drop here. I would remove it. Now start Visual Studio. Disable UCG collection. In the extension menu, Intel and Ensight. Intel one API is properly integrated. CUDA Insight is properly integrated. Now close it. Start Visual Studio Code. Extension ext colon cu Insight Visual Studio. This is from NVIDIA. Install. Now close it. We will learn how to use CUDA and SQL.
in the future sessions.